Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a macOS 15 Sequoia VM in VMware. To get started, obtain a macOS 15 ISO. Then we need to download VMware Workstation Player, as well as the VMware Unlocker tool from GitLab. Once all the downloads complete, launch the VMware Workstation Player installer. Step through the installer, accepting most of the defaults. Take note of the option to participate in the Customer Experience Program. With Workstation Player installed, extract the downloaded Unlocker archive. Inside the extracted folder, run unlocker.exe. Click the patch button, then close the unlocker program. From the start menu, launch VMware Workstation Player. When prompted, continue with the free license. Create a new virtual machine. For the installer disk, Browse to and select the downloaded Sequoia ISO file. Set the guest operating system to Mac OS, then select the closest version to 15 available. Give the VM a name and set the location to store its files, then click Next. Set the disk size to at least 60GB and set the option to store it as a single file, then click Next. Click the Customize Hardware button, set the memory to at least 8GB, and the number of processors to 4 or more. Set the network adapter to Bridged, then click Close. Click Finish to create the VM. Back in File Explorer, navigate to the location of the VM files and edit the VMX file in the text editor. Search for the phrase board ID dot reflect host and set the value to false. Search for ethernet 0 dot virtual dev and make sure the value is vmxnet3. Then copy the remaining properties from the video description and paste them at the bottom of the file. Save the changes and close the text editor. Back in VMware, right click on the virtual machine and select power on. When prompted, select the language and click Continue. Once you reach macOS Recovery, launch Disk Utility by double-clicking on it. Select the VMware Virtual SATA Drive in the left navigation menu, then click Erase at the top of the application. Name the disk macOS, then click Erase. Once the process finishes, click Done and close out of Disk Utility. Double-click the option to install macOS, then click Continue. Agree to the license terms, then agree again. Select the macOS disk, then click continue. Now take the time to catch up on every episode ever released of The Simpsons. The VM will reboot several times during this process. Eventually, if you're patient enough, you'll reach the macOS sysprep. Select your country or region, then click Continue. Verify your language and keyboard input, then click Continue. Click Not Now on the Accessibility page, then Continue on Data and Privacy. Select Not Now on the Migration Assistant, then Set Up Later for the Apple account, and Skip to Confirm. Click Agree to the Terms and Conditions, then Agree again. Enter a full name and account name, then enter and confirm a password and click Continue. Click Continue on the Location Services screen, then choose if you'd like to enable Location Services. 
Click your time zone on the map, then click continue. Click continue for analytics, then set up later for screen time. Select your theme, then click continue. Welcome to Mac OS 15 Sequoia. If prompted by Feedback Assistant, click Continue, then Decline. After reaching the desktop, shut down the VM. Relaunch VMware from the Start menu, then right click on the Mac OS VM and edit the settings. Select the CD DVD drive, then browse to your downloads directory, Unlocker, and inside the Tools folder, select Darwin.iso. Click OK to save your changes, then start the VM. Lock back in using the credentials you created during the installation. At the desktop, double click the VMware Tools icon on the desktop, then double click Install VMware Tools. Step through the installer accepting all the defaults. When prompted, select Allow. The installation will fail the first time. Click the notification bubble to allow VMware, then click Open System Settings. In System Settings, select Privacy and Security from the left navigation menu, then scroll all the way to the bottom and click Allow next to VMware. The system needs to reboot for the change to take effect, so click Restart. If the VMware Tools installer is still running, you'll need to close out of it. After the reboot, log back in. When prompted, select Open System Settings. In System Settings, select Privacy and Security from the left navigation menu, then scroll all the way to the bottom and click Allow next to VMware. The system needs to reboot one more time for the change to take effect, so click Restart. After the final reboot, log back in. Welcome to Mac OS 15 Sequoia, running as a VM in VMware.